So tonight I'm using a bunch of new equipment. I have a 38 millimeter two inch eyepiece and I have a Astronomics UHC filter and I am also used a Telrad finder to star hop to the Veil Nebula. Currently I've got the Eastern and the Western Veil Nebula. Um, I can't fit them both in the same uh, eyepiece view so I'm going to do two sketches tonight and it's going to consist one of the Eastern and one of the Western Veil Nebula. So let's take a quick look and see where this is located in the night sky and then let's get on with the sketches. NGC 6992, known as the Eastern Veil Nebula, and NGC 6960, the Western Veil Nebula, are part of the visible portions of what is also called the Cygnus Loop. These two nebulae can be found in the constellation Cygnus. The source of these nebulae is from a star 20 times more massive than our sun that exploded between 10 and 20,000 years ago. It is thought that the star's explosion would have been as bright as Venus and visible during the daytime. It is estimated that this nebula is roughly 2,400 light years away. This nebula has eluded me for years, but with the help of my new astronomic UHC filter, it is finally visible from my light polluted skies, and they both popped out and were immediately recognizable. Now that we know where we're looking in the sky, let's get on with the sketch. So I've got NGC 6992, or the Eastern Veil Nebula, and I'm going to start... Well, I attempted to start placing the nebula first, and then I realized that that's going to be a lot more difficult to kind of get the overall shape of it. So I went ahead and started placing the stars instead. One of the hardest parts about placing this is just the moving of the telescope, because I'm so used to using a motorized telescope for my sketches, it's really weird to finally be using a big Dobsonian and I have to nudge it. I'm still working on getting that figured out. Now, this whole sketch I used my UHC filter. I didn't take it off at all for the stars, so they're relatively dim and hard to see, so I'm not getting much of the fainter stars, just the brighter stars in this sketch. Well, that's it for the Eastern Veil Nebula. Now let's head over to the Western Veil Nebula and give that a look. So I started off the Western Veil, I placed that bright star in the middle, and I was going to attempt to do the nebula again, and again, I just, I need to place the stars before I place the nebula, I think. It really helps shape the nebula if you know where the stars are. And again, I, I kept the UHC filter in during the whole sketch, so I'm just getting the brightest stars in this. A lot of the fainter stars are just, they're not gonna be in this sketch. I didn't take it out and then fill them in. And this, I don't know, I, I can't get over it. I am so happy with this purchase of this uh, UHC filter. It is probably one of the best purchases I've made in a while for astronomy. I mean, aside from this telescope and this eyepiece and everything else I've bought for it. But anyway, that about wraps up the sketching portion of this video. Let's have a look at both the final drawings of the Eastern and the Western Veil Nebulas.